Cardinals went out there, traded for Josh Dobbs. He's a guy who really played well for the Titans last year. They had that game versus the Jaguars where they really made the Jaguars work for that first playoff appearance since the Blake Bortles team. So it's like you made it tough on them. He was able to play pretty well in Tennessee. So it's like now you're between Josh Dobbs or Clay Tooney, who is a rookie quarterback here. See if we can get some more information on who he is, where he played for. So he plays for Houston. He's actually, okay, he's pretty tall. Six foot two, 40 yard dash was a 4.6. So he can run a little bit. Uh, And I think he was a fifth rounder, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So yeah, his prospect grade, yeah, he was picked in the fifth round, pick four. And his college was Houston. His hometown is also Houston, Texas. So a West Coast guy, but he's six, two and a half, 220 pounds. So he's a pretty big guy. So if you're going to have someone that you can plug and play there, both him and Duck Hodges can actually see over their offensive line. So that could be a plus, but I still think they're going to be the worst team in the NFL. And we were pretty early on that where I was like, I don't think this team is going to win a game. I think this new head coach is the resurrection of Adam Gase. Um, I think Kyler Murray is an absolute disaster that you paid him. And then you traded away D hop, who's never been productive without. So it's like, I think that whole situation is disastrous. This defense is getting ripped apart by everyone in the NFL media. Your best receiver is Hollywood Brown on that team, who I think Kyler targeted him 18 times at one point last season in a single game. So it's like, I'm still a heavy believer that this team will be the worst team in the NFL, no matter if it's Clayton Tooney or Duck Hodges. But it's starting to go mainstream where everyone's starting to talk about them potentially being the worst team in the NFL. Well, look about it this way, right? Their number one running back is James Conner. We talked about Tony Pollard. <laughs> James Conner does not even match that. Tony, like James Conner, I respect him because I think he gets a little too much shape, but he's definitely not a good number one. And then your offensive line was pretty bad last year. You did get a tackle in the draft. We'll see if he can pan out. And then your receiver core is easily the worst in that division, maybe in the entire NFL. Your defense, you just traded away Isaiah Simmons for a seventh rounder, which is egregious. Even if he wasn't the first round pick that you wanted him to be, you didn't get anything for him. You could have easily gotten more than a seventh round pick out of him. So you have no talent on defense. You've lost all your key contributors on defense. Your guy who's a defensive specialist Looks kind of like a doofus so far. <laughs> so, like, this Cardinals team will be a disaster. I mean, you picked them to go 0-17. Do you still think they're going to go 0-17? Absolutely. And I'm just reading Clayton Tooney's strengths and weaknesses here. And some of his strengths are his weaknesses. So, that has here, four-year starter, so that's good. He'll be ready to play. Sure. And has a proven ability to overcome adversity. Well, he better. 0-17, <laughs> better be able to overcome that. Uh, works on his feet to find a platform patient willing to work through progressions um good has good rhythm in the pocket and then has adequate driving power between the hashes when planted and then his weaknesses though footwork can be undisciplined in the pocket pressure tends to rattle his reads so is he good at working through progressions or does he get rattled when he's going through his progressions well which one is that double negative there double negative (laughs) And let's say, again, that offensive line is pretty bad. So he's going to be under pressure a lot. And then might not trust his arm enough for fearless tight window throws. Yeah, that's not a starting quarterback. 